Everybody. It's another beautiful day in Southern California here on Sunday. Um, Val is not feeling so good. She uh, she forgot about how much her stomach does not like uh, vegetables. And she had more vegetables than her stomach could handle today. So her gastroparesis kicked in. So she ended up uh, in bed. So she should be up this afternoon. Today, um, besides looking at this gorgeous day. It's about 75 degrees here at Corona. Um, it's nice and dry. It's not humid. Not much of a breeze. Uh, I am in my garage doing some um, eBay stuff. I got a few things on. Takes me a long time because I want to make sure um, what what I'm putting on is correct and not answering 10 million questions uh, when I put the stuff on. So what I have on eBay right now uh, okay, it's, it's really strange what uh, actually goes for money and what doesn't. Um, I threw this uh, this old uh, um, heater. It's a camping heater, and it's up to fifty bucks. It's up to fifty-eight bucks. Oddly enough, I've got this old. Uh, um, Coleman lantern that's up to seventy dollars. So and I I wasn't even gonna put this on because I thought it wasn't very valuable. But apparently it was built in around nineteen fifty five, so and it's in beautiful condition and it's up to seventy dollars and I still got five days left on that. Uh things that drive me nuts is um signed or autographed book from around nineteen twenty one. Uh, about the uh, British campaign in World War One, written by who knows who, but it's signed by General Sir Herbert Poe, who was the uh, guy who the book is about his um, campaign in Europe, and it's and it's signed to Roland R. Riggs, who was the commander of the Navy for uh, the U.S. at the time, uh, and. Um, Sir Poe actually wrote the introduction to this book. I have absolutely no interest in it. Uh, and I'm probably going to pull it because I figured it was going to go for about $100 from a history, history buff would be interested. I, I don't even have any watchers on it. kind of surprises me. Uh, I was going to put on my other camping thing. This also belonged to my dad. I don't know how old it is. And... Um, uh, I figured it would probably go as well as my other camping things. Uh, Coleman seems to be have a nice value. I can't find a box big enough to hold it. And that's a big issue. It has to make it wherever it's going without damage. Or I get nothing out of it. So that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm getting no nibbles on my bikes. Uh, and the other stuff that I put on Craigslist, I've probably got them listed too high. Which is kind of funny. I thought a Huffy bike should go for at least 50 bucks. I'm sure it was. It cost about uh, $200 new. But uh, that's how things are right now. Hello, everybody. So, just wanted to come on camera and say a quick hi. Most of what's going to be filmed today is Kevin. Um, this is one of the reasons why... We are going to get the surgery done. I am in the middle of a gastroparesis attack. I woke up this morning at about 5 o'clock having a gastroparesis attack and it's very painful. I took my meds and I slept till 2 o'clock and just got up and tried to eat something and it's not doing too good. I got my pukey bucket next to me. And I am just in excruciating pain, trying not to show that to you guys right now. Um, so, it's all up to Kevin today. Okay, so it's about 5 o'clock. It's time for dinner. Um, I'm going to make my famous 
ramen noodles. So obviously just boiling up the water. But I also will um, chop up some of Val's delicious chicken. Heat that up in the microwave and just put that in the bottom of the bowl. So I got some nice uh, meat to put in there as well. So uh, Val's still not feeling well so I'm going to get her some soup. Uh, some butternut squash soup that she really likes. So today I've been on eBay again trying to put some more stuff on. Uh, things that uh, I think were worth something turn out to not be worth much of anything and uh, vice versa. The stuff that I had no plans of putting on, maybe just giving away, is turning out to be valuable. Uh, one of the things that uh, I had uh, from my father that uh, he kept saying hold on to this because it's going to be worth something someday is his old train set. It's an old uh, O-gauge train set. I just pulled it out of the box and I was trying to see if any of my components were worth anything. Uh, some of this is very old. Um, my father's very first locomotive is a, a 1932 American Flyer. Um, when I first pulled it out of the box I thought well this should be worth at least a hundred dollars. And um, I can't see it on eBay for over 40 uh, in a best of conditions, and this is not. This is a 1952 uh, Rhino 2034. Uh, same thing. It's worth between 20 and 30 dollars. I got lots and lots of track, which I could probably sell separately. Uh, s switch panels, um, cross track. And uh, from what I'm seeing, uh, I may have to completely total, probably less than $100 worth of stuff uh, here, which is pretty sad. It's also going to be very difficult to put this all on one piece at a time, which is how I'm probably going to get the most money out of it, because I have to put, box, put them in boxes, weigh them, and put uh, prices on them for shipping. If I... Um, if I put it together as a bo box lot, it uh, might not sell because it'll be heavy, and um, it uh, I won't get as much money. That's what I've learned in the past working with eBay. You make more money with things like this if you uh, sell them piece by piece. Uh, other things I've been doing to try to make money, I have uh, actual stock from my old company, and it's worth money. I have no idea how to cash it in. So, more issues, and uh, what I usually end up finding out in, in all cases, especially had to do with my old company, is none of it's really worth anything. So, um, that's been my day, and Val's been in bed. So, I uh, didn't get anything on eBay today, just went around seeing if any one particular piece, uh, sometimes something is worth something. But, uh, I went through most of all this and it all, as I said, it dates back to the 30s. It doesn't seem to have much in the way of value. Okay, so I've made a complete mess out of the uh, den again. It's, uh, I've got s stuff for sale all over the place. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to bundle these together. I have three different train sets. One's an American Flyer. One is a Lionel from the 50s. And one is a Marks from the, from the 60s. And so I will package them uh, that way. Maybe we'll get some money for them, maybe we won't. Uh, but at least it'll get to somebody who will actually use them. Because I just have them packed away, collecting dust. Hi everybody! Hello! It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! I got, I got Val out of bed because she hated the vlog I put together. I didn't hate the vlog. You better not cut Daryl out. Why? Because Walking Dead was on tonight, and what? look who's come to uh, pay us a visit. It's a real stiff, by the way. That might not be such a bad thing. <laughs> I know Domestic Goddess, Melody from Mom's Vlogs. <laughs> There's a few women out there who are just like, Yeah, Val! <laughs> Sorry, I get your hands away from him. Anyway, <laughs> did y'all get to watch The Walking Dead tonight? 
I did. I only got a little glimpse of him, though, but that's okay. He stands right next to my bed all night long. So, let's get to shout-outs, shall we? Please. <laughs> yes, I did not like Kevin's closing on the, the vlog, so as bad as I am feeling, I said, no, that's not going to fly. I will get up and do shout-outs. <laughs> So then I will go back to bed <laughs> and cry in pain. Um, Bobby Holland, a very happy belated birthday to you. His birthday is Christmas, and he says he That's has a belated. horrible he has a horrible birthday every year because it's Christmas. When you're a kid, I'd hate to have Christmas and birthday the same day. Anyway, happy belated birthday to you, Bobby Holland. Hannah Hinkle, her father-in-law just had the gastric bypass surgery in December, and he is doing fantastic. They actually had to take him clothes shopping to get new clothes and everything, and he has a lot, or had, a lot of the same health issues as I did. Yeah, I have a feeling that they're all very closely related. So, that's two people... Um, that I know that has had this surgery and it's successful. So thank you, Hannah, for the positive story and for helping me to keep positive about this. Really appreciate that. Kat Larkin, I know it is going to take a lot of discipline for me to follow through with this diet and cha lifestyle change, not a diet, with this lifestyle change after the gastric bypass surgery, but I have a lot of family and friends and my whole neighborhood community and also support groups that I can go to to help me stay on track and make sure that I stick to this. So I can do it! I can do it! Sister Sue, yes, I will definitely keep everybody updated along the way as I go through the process. It is a long process. I have to go through 13 weeks of classes before I can even have the surgery. So it's going to be a long process, but I will keep you guys updated. And yes, Kevin is a fantastic man. He is my rock. Um, it takes a very special person to stand by somebody's side that has as many illnesses, physical and mental <laughs> illnesses, as I do. And he, he is my rock. And I don't know what I would do without him. Mwah. Love you, baby. Hey! <laughs> but I still want my Daryl, my cardboard Daryl. Get over here. <laughs> he's, he's cardboard. <laughs> He won't stand up now. Good. <laughs> okay, he's out of the picture for now. Lindsay Loke. L-O-A-K-E. Yeah. Welcome to the neighborhood. Reese's Love. <laughs> we all know who she is, but because it's niche, the name is new, welcome to the neighborhood. No Reese's here. <laughs> no, not anymore. And I just want to say thanks to a few people, and I may have missed some, but these people have given me links to different diabetes websites, um, sending me information on healthy cooking, uh, Terry Johnson, El Rio Family, Christy Shiver, Amanda Nichols, Charlie Right Now. You guys are all amazing, and I greatly, greatly appreciate all your help and support and Daryl said eat squirrel <laughs> okay so it's time for neighborhood community A credit roll I told you last night you need more excitement that's all I got no you can I, I'm out of bed in pain puking and stuff, you can muster up... Puking? Well, I haven't puked today, but... You can muster up a little bit of oomph. Okay, let's try it again. Oh. It's time for Neighborhood Community! Oh. 
Cut it off. Nope. I'm not gonna. Yeah. We're not gonna end this until you do it right. It's time for neighborhood community. Ready, roll. Hey, anybody want to train? <laughs> I got. I got some line now. I got some flyer. I got some marks. I got some meow. <laughs> my thing. Can he be in my picture? Please? It's a good thing he's thin enough. He's thin enough. He's you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. Oh, I hit my funny bone. <laughs> 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 you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there watching us in this little box in here. <laughs> we love you so very much. We really honestly do. <laughs> Thumbs up. Got the Yeah, one of these days we'll get around to it. Why? Be sure to check out Neighborhood Zoo. The Neighborhood Zoo. The. <laughs> neighborhood Zoo. Be sure to check out The Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, PIN, and I am going to make him get that vlog up if it kills me. I'm tired. <laughs> we'll see you all tomorrow. Someone's got to buy a train first. <sighs> Bye. <laughs>